Hello people, welcome back to the vlog. We're in a cafe. Are you happy? Ellie's got a pink lemonade. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. I've got a smoothie, which I'm gonna try. Go. Oh. oh, that wakes you up. Blimey, I haven't done my teeth that long. Oh, look at that meat. Mm. Yours oh, smells nice. Yeah, yours looks really good as well. <laughs> You excited? Oh, she's already started. <laughs> oh, look at that view. Gorgeous. So nice. Look at that view. <laughs> That's not bad either, to be fair. Beautiful. I'm sorry I haven't filmed anything today. I woke up very late. Um, we wanted to go and get food as quickly as possible. You saw that, and it was very nice, wasn't it? Guess not. Um, and also, then, then we went and did a bunch of work for me. Um, I've started writing out my CV so I can apply for jobs this summer. And Ellie's been helping me look for jobs. She's doing a really good job at looking for jobs. That could be my job. My job could be right looking for jobs. If I got paid for looking for jobs, I'd be great at that. Um, but yes, I need to get my stuff from Ellie's. But I think we're gonna go up there now and just relax. We're, we're both quite fatigued, as you can tell. And we just have a chill hour or so and then I'll come back home and do some more work and shit yeah fun times <sighs> right um I need to explain what's happening today um not much is the answer today's vlog is going to be a very short one so I reckon I'm going to have to try and find something interesting to talk about um because the day just hasn't been and I'm really sorry for that right now I'm back at home as you can tell um, and I'm just dropping some stuff off before I go up to my, uh, my friend's house to come watch Eurovision. Uh, now, we're not going to be doing anything particularly fun, we're just going to be watching Eurovision, so I don't know how much I will actually film. If anything funny happens, I'll, I'll film. If anything on Eurovision happens, I will film it too, but um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to do, so, like, depending on how this goes, I will, I will either see you guys there or I will see you guys when I'm back here. Um, I'm really sorry that today hasn't been very interesting to watch. It's just I had a lot of stuff I needed to get done today and I'm stressed because I've got exams to revise for, but I've also need to, I need to sort out a job in the summer. So, and also holiday flights and shit. So I'm losing a bit of money at the moment. So it's a bit, bit of a stressy time. I hope you guys can understand that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go, well, I'm going to chuck my stuff down and then go up to my mate's house. It's Lois, Gabby, Eilish and Laura's house. Like you all know that. Old friends, we meet again. It's been a long time since I've worn these boots, uh, but I'm gonna wear them now because, well, I've missed them lots. So, Eurovision was interesting. Um, UK came third to last, not last, which is amazing. The hosts, Portugal, came last, which was really fucking strange. And Israel won with what now seems to be quite a racist song. Well, maybe not racist, but kind of very cultural appropriating um it's kind of weird oh well well uh at least we didn't come last that's all i can say from this like i had a great time just with my friends we like bit placed predictions on it i did predict that israel were going to win um and they did so i should have put a bet on it really but oh well um yeah we we had a nice time, uh, no drinking, no food, so I'm fucking starving because I haven't eaten since Blue Sky earlier, uh, so I'm going to have to go make myself some food, but first of all, I need to edit yesterday's vlog because it still, still hasn't gone up. Bloody hell, it is now 10 to 1. Uh, I've spent the last half an hour trying to get my video rendered. The software I was using wasn't working for some reason, so I've had to like, I've temporarily freed up some space on my phone just to see if that was what was affecting it, even though I had like 10 gigs spare anyway. And it seems to have done the trick for some reason I don't really get. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've managed to get the vlog up, finally. Um, but uh, I need to find something to talk about, because otherwise there's no point to this video. It's really short and shit. So I thought, why don't I actually talk about some cool stuff that's been happening in the field of the science, and uh, more specifically, NASA. Like, I know it's kind of a weird topic change for me, uh, like, trying to get a job today, or, like, looking at jobs today, and then watching Eurovision. But I've been enthralled by this new news story, uh, this new thing that NASA have said they're going to do uh, the next time they send a new Mars rover. 
I think it's the next time it's a news mar a, a, a news Mars rover. That's exactly what they're going to send. It's what they're going to send up with the Mars rover when they launch a new, um, like, rover in 2020. And this is really cool because it's, uh, it's like, it, I mean, it's kind of clickbaity in that uh, what, what they're actually going to send isn't alike to our versions of this, but it's still cool. You guys already know what this is because it's in the fucking title of the video, but I, so I don't really know why I'm hiding this. But basically, NASA want to send a helicopter to Mars uh, in 2020. That is that is just super cool. What's really awesome about this, like first of all, is that when you think about it, we've sent loads of stuff from Earth to other planets, but nothing's actually taken off from the ground of another planet. Sending a helicopter, uh, or a helicopter-like device even, would mean that we are technically launching off a new planet, which is a really cool thing to be able to say, um, which is one of the reasons why this has just enthralled me. The other thing was the fact that it just sounds cool, we're going to take a helicopter to space, and then take the helicopter to a new planet, and launch it off the planet, and fly it around and see shit. Like, that just sounds so awesome. And the idea of it is, is is fantastic, especially when you see the pictures that the new the newer Mars rovers are able to produce. Think about how good those pictures could be from higher up, and actually seeing stuff for like further, seeing the curvature of Mars like properly for the first time, stuff like that would be fantastic. One of the amazing things about this is the way that they're trying i don't know if they've actually succeeded in making this uh helicopter device but the way that they've um made it because they had to make a like a helicopter really really small because otherwise like how the hell are they going to launch it they need to make it as light as possible uh so what they've managed to get is cutting the weight of an entire helicopter uh, and keeping the function of it and the maneuverability of it as close to uh, like humanly controllable as possible, uh, yet cutting it down to 1.8 kilograms. That's four pounds. That is really fucking light, and it's only the size of a like a softball, which is is incredible. Like that, that's just insane in itself. And like what it looks like, it it basically looks like a drone. It looks like any kind of drone you could just go and build yourself, kind of. It kind of looks even worse than drones you can buy yourself, really. But this thing has to be specifically designed to work in Mars' atmosphere. Because Mars' atmosphere is like 100 times thinner than ours. So it has to be perfectly uh, mechanised to cope with the difference in, in air density. And like, so it would be a heavier than air aircraft. Um, because it won't be like a blimp or a balloon. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know if we've ever launched balloons off a planet uh something like that that might have happened before so it's actually the fact that we're la launching a heavier than air device off of a planet that's the cool thing and um like i think the blades uh, it has two blades to to like keep it steady um i think it will work on um like uh, two blades uh, both facing up Basis. I don't know how uh, maneuver how it will maneuver itself properly, but um, it won't be like a, a, a typical um, like Earth helicopter. In that, it will have a tail. It will have a cockpit. It will have a couple of fucking massive mini guns on the side. It won't be like that at all. Um, so, but but it, it just sounds so awesome, and the possibilities that this can bring us. Like it, it can bring. Uh, new images of Mars, better images. Like we can travel further technically on, on Mars with an air, uh, an, an air moving vehicle. Um, if we bring more stuff to Mars, it can be used to transport things uh, again, uh, a lot quicker and easier than maneuvering through all the boulder fields that you find on Mars. Uh, it's such a massive thing. It can hold like so much promise for future like Mars exploration and technically other space exploration too. It's going to be kind of high risk for a couple of reasons, like uh, because of how how light the air is. I think the record for flying a helicopter on Earth is 40,000 feet, something like that. But because of how like light the air is on Mars, it's going to be like 
two and a half times that, like that's what it would technically feel like if someone was there. It'd be like 100,000 feet up. Um, so it's a bit bloody uh, light. Uh, and obviously it's not going to be piloted. It's going to have to be programmed to do its flying by itself. It can't be a drone. Uh, like we can't control it. It's too far away. The signal will take too long. Um, but it's it's still like crazy and obviously like if it goes wrong we're pretty fucked because um we, we probably wouldn't know what went wrong um whereas with um like a, a car a rover it's moving slowly um we can kind of predict what will happen to it but like compare a car like a remote control car to a drone like either you can buy at an expensive toy store and guarantee you can easily drive a car because with with a flying vehicle you have to take into account an entire new uh, like dimension of up and down compared to left right and forward and back it would just like exacerbate the difficulty of maneuvering it and you need to be able to program it to move because you can't move it yourself from earth it's going to be really really risky and even like the, the mars rovers have been have like struggled because like one one got like stuck in a patch of sand and that's like literally how it, how it ended it just got stuck and like imagine if just this this drone gets gets hit by a bit of wind uh like a tiny tiny little gust of wind and it just goes and that's it gone uh like whereas the rover can take a bit of wind you know it can take a little bit of a, of a breeze but this oh it's, it's crazy this idea but i think it'd be really cool obviously like i can't comment on this i'm not very clever um, I did physics at A-level and failed miserably. Well, I didn't fail, but I didn't do very well. Um, I love physics, but I i don't really understand how it's going to work. Uh, but I still think it's a really cool and interesting idea. And I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it, if anything, if we get any more information, like the public get any more information on it. Because um, I'm sure there is stuff. I'm just too lazy to find it. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me know what you guys think about this, because I think it's really cool. Um, obviously... Um, Basically, the future of the human race is going to rely on either a mass culling on Earth or migration to a new planet. And um, this is just one small step on what will be an epic journey, hopefully, of human survival and exploration. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Let me know what you think. And now I need to go get myself some food because I'm fucking starving. Well, I've decided to have my dinner is a bit bloody weird. Um, I can't be bothered to cook anything like fry anything up I just want to do everything in one pan so what I'm gonna have is I'm ready I'm gonna have a ready-made bolognese sauce uh, but I'm not gonna put any meat in it I'm just gonna put um, carrot in it <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna boil up some pasta and carrots and then mix it all together I could put some broccoli in it actually yeah but uh, apart from that it's just gonna be boring uh, I just can't be bothered to cook much uh, I'll put much effort in. I just want to get into bed and eat and sleep. So that's all I'm doing. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble, all the witches say. Sing up a potion in the witchy way. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. There we have it, a lovely award winning dish. Which I'm now going to enjoy in the safety and comfort of my own bed. So, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And that way, you'll see every single day of my life. However boring it may be today, I can always find something interesting to talk about. We talked about helicopters on Mars, and that's pretty fucking awesome. So, until next time, guys, take care, and peace.